Well, you're looking at the rear end of Christine Foster's funny car, and we know what an astronaut is and a cosmonaut, but when a funny car racer decides to take a moonshot, we don't know what that's called, but Christine went through it. It was uh, certainly a new experience and not one we were looking forward to today. Um, I definitely, like 100%, thought it was coming all the way over. The car launched hard. I was confident about my reaction time, and then the next thing I know, I'm looking at the sky, and I was like, all right, I'm in trouble here. So I kind of braced for the impact, and then the body lets go, and then the thing just sets itself down. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm trying to get the thing shut off. It was, it, it was definitely a wild ride. <laughs> Certainly a wild ride. Certainly it's going to be on the highlight reel for a long time. But personal bests this weekend and knocking out number one qualifier. Overall, this fall nationals will be one that you certainly remember. Oh, absolutely. For so many different reasons. Going 543 against, you know, we're the underdogs coming in. 14th qualifier against Andy Whiteley. And to lay down a 543 with a 15 reaction time definitely boosted my confidence, my team's confidence. Um, and then we lucked into that bye, and then, you know, going into the semis against Gordon, world champion, we knew we had to have a fast hot rod, but I, I felt confident, like, we had we had something to at least race against with him, and then next thing you know, I'm looking at the sky, and <laughs> it's over. So it was, it'll definitely be a race that I will never forget. There is a thrash in the Gordon pit after that semifinal round win. Got a lot of help from Nitro ranks. Even the Killer Bees are over here. Sean Bellamere helping out Doug Gordon, Chris Foster, to get him to make a final round after, well, hurting a crank, throwing all the rods, something. A nasty, nasty deal through the lights for Doug Gordon. Attempting to make a final round here at the Fall Nationals and put the cherry on top of already claiming a championship. And for Jim Whiteley, the other half of the final round here at the Fall Nationals, rather routine. They look ready to go to roll up and compete for a Fall Nationals win here at the Texas Motorplex. trophy for the top alcohol dragster world champion Julie Natus and you have defeated the Texas Motorplex at the Fall Nationals last year didn't even qualify for this event you've this year won a regional here you are now looking to win a race but you have sewed up this championship congratulations girl thank you yeah I didn't even know that we were we could win the championship on this round I heard someone say something on the announcer about it and I started thinking and we had a lot of time to think, think up there considering there was a cleanup. So I was definitely shaking more than I normally do in this race car. And, you know, definitely I'm glad the difference we've had in a year is amazing. What has been the difference? There has been moments this year, high pressure moments, where in the past you haven't stepped up. This year you have been able to step up and it's got you a world championship. As all the guys at home and Randy that are working on this cars in and out whenever we're not at the racetrack, and we've really seen that difference from last year to this year and see the hard work pay off. Congratulations, Julie. Thank you. And right over there, world champion tuner. <laughs> Kirk Wolf is 
at the moment perfect in national competition in 2023. The winner at Norwalk, Ohio for that national meet. You got an opportunity to win again. Just got to beat the world champion, Julie Datis. But you did that at Norwalk. Yeah, we did. You know, like I said, we had a good car in Norwalk. We got a good car here. They have a really good car. Like I said, I think she went 14 a while ago. We went 19. Uh, we're going to throw something at it, see what we can do. I, th I think we can run with them. Chase has got an awesome tune-up in this car. All the guys have worked their tail off all weekend, so I think we'll get we'll be pretty competitive with them in the finals. 